A check race from high. I'm like, God, I'm a... Ludo is thinking about the Mirage right now. Very nice spot to get check raised by your opponent with 3% equity when you have the nuts. I watched he's, some uh, he's an Israeli, huh? He is Israeli. I, I'll tell you, last last time I came to Austin, I watched five hours of his content. It was pre-edited content, just like the raw footage. On the flight, I watched five hours of the content. I watched it at 2x speed, hence the ability to watch that much. It was the most I've learned about poker strategy in an amount of time since the very beginning for me, when I was like learning that queen six offsuit is not a good hand, you know? That that was more valuable for sure, learning queen six offsuit sure. is not a good hand, but since then, that was like, you know, 13 years ago, I have not learned more in such a small wow. period of time. So, so you crushed the tables that trip, right? I actually did, yeah. Damn. But that said, just making sure. that said, most of my winnings came from winning double board PLO bomb pots, which the course does not cover. So, <laughs> so I don't want that course coming out. It's out. <laughs> we did put out an article for what it's Dylan, like. Dylan wrote an article about that. Yeah, very helpful. <laughs> yes. That's over on Upswing Poker, too. If you Google double board PLO bomb pot tips, you'll find them. That's funny. Texas regs hate that article. They don't Speaking want you to which, play well. Brady, I've been meaning to ask you. We need to get, I need to get a login for Upswing. Insider login. I, I got can, you, I yeah. could do some, some studying, see what's up there, the new articles. When you're not here in the booth, we can discuss these with the fine folks at Chatsville. Sounds good. And Rick could use some studying. I do. Well. I've tried everything but practice and lessons. But he reads at like... <laughs> 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 much trial and error and trial and error, huh? Exactly. But a lot of error. <laughs> exactly. And every now and then I get lucky. Chicago boys going to battle here. Gabe turning this pair of eights into a bluff on this flush completing river. Adam had a very strong hand on the flop with ace jack. It's kind of shriveled up as this... Two overcards come out on the turn and river, and a flush completes. These two went after each other all day long yesterday. Kind of the first hand that we're seeing them getting involved in heads up right now. Yeah, these guys are friends, you would think. I don't know how you treat your friends at the poker table, but most people don't aggressively go after their friends. These two uh, kind of do. That's funny. Yeah, they went after it last night. You also may have seen some slow rolls if you were watching last night. They like to slow roll each other as well. And he does get the fold. Let's see if Gabe shows the three. Of course. Look at the last one the Down the stretch. 169 with seven minutes left. Two, Anthony, two. And then a third cup to mix it. Yell, yell for it. Good call. Those teas, Mr. Brady, are pretty tasty. Those little brisk teas that anybody can just hop in and put one out of the refrigerator. I love that fridge. Yes. Big fridge at the lodge, <laughs> in case you haven't been here. Jack of Diamonds on the turn. Gabe now moves ahead with his Jack. Action Adam has the only flush Four. draw. It's worth the call for him, just the ten of diamonds. G Monkey's in the chat. Probably fresh from a softball game with their two little kitties. Shout out to Cameron and Luke if they're watching some early evening poker. I saw a great picture of the Stein family at Round Rock Express game the other day. I love seeing that. I thought about going to that baseball game on Thursday with my puppy. Oh, it was allowed, dog day? You're allowed to bring your dogs. And then I decided it's probably a terrible idea. I started playing play money on party poker. Didn't even realize real money was a thing. Right. Didn't think it was legal. Eventually found out it was. That was, uh, I mean, arguably the best thing that's ever happened to me because I've Empire uh, control poker has given me a lot. But... It really changed my life oh, a lot, really? getting getting into real money yeah. poker. And, uh, you know, here I am, 13, 14 years later, wow. poker career behind me, working for uh, wow. the wow. best poker they training won? company and working with the best yeah. poker room. So, wow. yeah, I'm super, super thankful to that cousin. I'm going to have to buy him dinner while we're out here. That's interesting. <laughs> it's That's a great story. Yeah. Yeah, if you're like, oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, if you buy, uh, 
Here comes the flop trick tray. Jack to oh, pair like, for high. Ludo is going to continue his story. Ludo has not been super active pre-flop this, this uh, stream. But here he is getting in there from the cutoff at 6-5 off. So he does have that gear. High says, I'm not going anywhere with two pair. Queen kicker. There's the king. That's huge. Ludo doesn't pick up any extra outs, so let's see if he decides to continue bluffing with total squad douche here. He is going to go for it. 525, very small bet. Not expect High to fold to that one. And he does not. Good night, Chris the Cop. Thanks for being with us once again. Nine of clubs. Be well, my friend. Good luck to your Brooklyn Nets. Kevin Tarantula. Ludo does give up on the river. Players asking about the chat, of course. Always interested in the chat, and they appreciate you guys watching throughout the stream's entirety. This was a crazy hand as well. Spoiler alert. Let's see what happens. Crazy in my mind. Let's keep in mind what my holding comes up to be here. So Hyde just calls the 200 straddle. I lay down the jack seven. It's not great, but I want to get, try and be a little active, but hard to do again in my stack depth when these gentlemen are so deep, but high comes along for the 800. Surprised to see the fold from uh, T1000 with King Queen. I suspect that was a card reader. Fold. And look what flops. Who had Jack seven? Oh, somebody folded it. Very, that, very, that was me, Rick. But that was good fold. Look at that. I'm, I'm sitting here right now kicking myself. Like, I wanted to get in this pot. Would have doubled up. My life would be so sweet. And then high checks. And Ludo continues to bet here. The greatest Not fold you ever made. And you're, you're looking at that 600 across the table, and you're thinking, that could have been mine. I'm looking at a 600. Then I'm looking at my 8K stack. I'm doing the math. 8 plus 8 is 16. And now... A check race from high. I'm like, God, I'm a... Ludo is thinking about the mirage right now. Very nice spot to get check raised by your opponent with 3% equity when you have the nuts. Good work if you can get it. Probably the best feeling in poker. I would say somebody betting into you when you have the nuts. Does it get any better? I was putting Ludo on, like, jacks here or something like that. Not just flopping the entire universe. Ludo here debating between a flat or a raise. I would much rather prefer seeing a flat, but the board is wet, dangerous, might just want to shut down the action, and he elects to rip it. Still would have preferred seeing the flat there after High shows the aggression, but... Win a pile, 1,000 hours or more, 15 seconds in drinking. How do you fast. drink with 15 seconds? Doesn't like, have to be fast. What if you're drinking vodka? Oh, then it's just like, what's it? Like, uh, if you're drinking beer, you better. Shocker. Adam trying to create the poker drinking game. Win a hand, $1,000 or more, take a sip. At first he said drink for 15 seconds, which is very different from a sip. Here goes, <laughs> 15 seconds. what if you're drinking vodka? Then you just take a sip. 15 <laughs> seconds, like even a beer, that's a whole beer. 10-9 deuce, couple of spades. Ludo, Cheers. spade drop. Here with the two overs and a gutter ball. He's not gonna wanna go anywhere, but it does check around, so no one has the option to go anywhere. Second flush draw added to the turn. No one has it though. 525. Kaya comes to life with just five high. Setting 525 into these three other players. Ludo looks like he's gonna fold his low flush draw. Shame to waste a hand like that, but it is a tough spot. 
players behind. Oh. Oh, oh. Pierre does peel with the king high. And I think Kai is going to win this pot. Can't imagine him not betting with 5 4. Pierre could get frisky, though. King high could be the best hand, and it is. But he decides to let it go. King Kaya gives a little look of show? disapproval, almost as if he's disappointed that he didn't get called <laughs> on the river. No, I bet if I try to buy one, he agrees with him. <laughs> 